Hi, I'm Mick Orr. I'm the application specialist here at Chromaline. What I'm going to show you today is how to use our new exposure calculator. This just happens to be it right here. I'll just put this up against here a little bit so you can see better. As you can see here, we have the uh, film here, and then we have some images on this side too. It's known as a, uh, a dual calculator because you can use it the standard way or you can use a step test. And I'm going to show you how to use both. Now, I've already coded a screen. And this screen was coded with our UDC HV, and it's on 156 mesh. And I have to determine what the proper exposure is. By the way, it happens almost every week I get somebody saying, well, what's the proper exposure for our, our emulsions? Well, that's tough to answer. But if you have a calculator like this, it's easy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take this calculator, and I'm going to just put, place it on the screen. Get a couple pieces of tape, tape it on. By the way, this film, this little piece of film here, you have it away from the screen, like that. So I'm gonna just tape it on. Now it's ready to expose. Now the thing is, you have to make an educated guess of what your proper exposure should be. And one way, to get that guess is number one, look at our user guide and it gives you an idea of where to start on your proper exposures. Um, in this case, I'm gonna make a wild guess and I'm gonna say, I think exposure is probably gonna be 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. So whatever my guess is, I'm gonna double it. That's how the calculator works. So I'm gonna double, I'm gonna say 30, I'm gonna make it 60 second exposure. So I'm gonna go into the other room now and do an exposure. Okay, time to expose using my exposure calculator. If I've got my filter on and I'm all set to go. I'm gonna set my exposure at about 60 seconds. Remember you double whatever you're doing when using a calculator. So I got set at 60 seconds and I develop, do an exposure. The advantage of this system over doing a step test is you get five shots at once, whereas a step test, it's gonna take you a little while. This is one shot, five exposures at the same time. Okay, it's now been exposed. This calculator now can be removed and put away safely. This can be reused over and over and over again. This is a tool, but you gotta use it. Now I'll take this in a washout sink and develop it out. And if I did things right, I'll be able to tell what my proper exposure is. Okay, it's in a washout sink right now. So what I'm gonna do is wet both sides of the screen and proceed. And you'll see the image pop up the moment water hits it. There, can you see the image pop up? So wet both sides. And you can see the image start. Now here's a real important step. That's called take your finger and just touch the inside of the screen. It's, see how that smears around a little bit? See that? Actually got emulsion on my finger and that's pretty greasy feeling. That's a sure indication that I'm still a little bit underexposed, but we're still gonna develop it out and get an idea where we should be. One thing about exposures is if you have a good exposure, you can this can withstand a lot of water. If you have to be real careful at your washout, it's underexposed, guaranteed, and you probably should start over. Okay. 
Now, I don't know if you can see this too easily, but you can see a lighter color right here as opposed to right here. See that? That's because right in that black area, or right in that area there was where the black of the positive covered it up. That's blocking some of the UV. So as it's blocking it, it's washing away the diazo when you finally wash out your screen. As you notice, it gets more and more where it's about the same color here as it is here. That's important because that's telling me that you're getting your good exposure. Now you may say, well, I look at this and they all look good. And you know what? They do. However, I know from experience that a shorter exposure is going to give me a, a less durable screen. Whereas a longer exposure is going to be a more durable one. And if you notice, I am holding all the detail you would ever want to hold in this screen. So what's the proper exposure for this one here? After I dry it and take a closer look, I would say probably about a minute. 60 units is what I used here. That's my proper exposure. That's all there is how to use a calculator. Now, if I wanted to refine this even more, I would take and put my calculator back on a brand new screen and do a different time. Maybe a little bit longer, probably maybe go two minutes this time instead of 60 uh, seconds. That way I can tell because I have all my filters are on here. From no filter to a filter down here, it blocks 75% of the UV energy. That's how this works.